Hey Beat Saber Jedi, this is Tatiana from Disco VR and BMBF has finally updated to work on Beat Saber version 116.4 and while we're still waiting for most mods to catch up with this update, I already have a treat for you as the new mod called Streamer Tools has just been released. Streamer Tools mod along with a client that you'll install on your PC will allow you to use different overlays for your Beat Saber with a gameplay information such as song name, duration, difficulty, score, combos, accuracy rates and more. With this mod you will ultimately step up your game in your Beat Saber streaming and video content creation. Streamer Tool sends information to your PC over Wi-Fi, it has multiple overlays compatible with OBS, and it even has a song request function. This is a really cool tool for streamers, and in this video I will show you how to install Streamer Tools and use them in your streams. So if you're ready, let's go! To use the Streamer Tools mod, you will need to have BMBF installed. While BMBF has recently updated to be compatible with Beat Saber 116.4, the installation process remained the same, so head to my earlier tutorial to set it up. I will leave a link to that video below and when you're done, come back to this video. Once your BMBF is set up and you're ready to go, first head over to the Streamer Tools GitHub repository, you can find the link in the description as well, and click on Releases. From there, download the latest QMod file and open BMBF on your PC. In order to open BMBF on your PC, you will first need to start BMBF on your Quest by going to Unknown Sources and then click on BMBF. From there, go to Tools tab. You will see the link at the top right corner and you need to write this link into any browser on your PC and make sure to keep your quest active. I usually just keep it on my forehead so that it doesn't go into standby. When you put in this website address on your PC, this window will open. Click the upload box and select the queue mode you downloaded. You should get this info like this one shown here. Finally, sync your game by clicking on the top right corner and the Streamer Tools mod should be installed. If you have any issues with these or next steps, head over to the Beat Saber modding group Discord server which is linked in the description, they are really helpful there and they'll be able to answer your questions. Next, we're gonna install the PC client which will be used to display all the information from your game. Head over to the GitHub repository of the Streamer Tools client, which is linked in the description as well, and go to the Releases tab. From there, you can choose to either download the installer or the portable version. If you download the installer, just follow the setup until everything is installed. But if you download the portable version, right-click on the zip file in Exporter and hit Extract All, and the client will be in that folder without the need to go through the installation steps. As the last step, open the client and make sure to allow network traffic. After allowing network traffic, restart the client by closing it and opening it again. After you open the client on your PC, start Beat Saber on your Quest. You should get a notification on the client which asks you if you want to set up IP. Click Yes. You can now go to the download section of the client and download all overlays you want to use. After you downloaded them, you can find them by going to the Overlays section. To add the overlays to OBS, click Copy URL on the overlay you like. Then in OBS, click Add Source and choose Browser. Paste URL link you just copied. As for the dimensions, it is recommended that you set the width and height exactly like the ones of your video or stream. Then click OK and you should be good to go. Now simply play Beat Saber and the overlay should update in real time immediately. You must have noticed that the client has a Song Request tab. At the time of recording this video, this feature is supported in the client, but it doesn't show in the mod. However, this may change in the future, or maybe it already has for you, viewer from the future. To enable this feature, simply head over to the Home tab in the client and enable the Twitch bot. First, you will need to type in your channel name. Then create a token for your own Twitch account by clicking the text in the client. Click Connect accept the cookies and log in. After logging in, you will need to authorize the app. Now copy the token and paste it into the Twitch token box. Finally, restart the client. Your viewers should now be able to use this to request songs, exclamation mark, BSR, single space and the song key. The requested songs will show in the song request section of the client. Isn't it cool? 
kudos to Computer Elite and Ender Drake LP who developed this mode, and they are doing some mind blowing work with Beat Saber modding. And if you want, you can even thank them personally for their contribution in the Beat Saber modding group Discord server. Friends, that's about all you need to know. You may also go through the written instructions, which you will find by following the link in the description. Remember to also join the Beat Saber modding group Discord server with any questions. Also, be sure to regularly check both the Streamer Tools mods and Streamer Tools client GitHub repositories to see if there are any updates. Let me know how you plan to use Streamer Tools and if you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to subscribe to Disco VR for more fun and informative VR content. That's it for today, my friends. Stay safe and as always, happy sabering!